I'm Daniel from Coral Lust, and this is an update on my 220 gallon display tank. It is a mixed reef, and I have taken all my history lessons from my previous reef aquariums, and I try to solve them all by, you know, eliminating everything I've learned and into making this the best reef tank I can. And by that, a few of the lessons which I mean are the water flow, the rock setup. I don't no longer have just a solid pile of rocks. You guys can see these rocks are filled with holes and places for the fish to swim, to hide, different size fish, different size corals. Um, everything's balanced differently. So there's a, a lot of room and everyone's pretty happy. It's not just a big solid pile and people have to scurry behind a rock to look for a place to sleep. So that was one of my mistakes in my previous tanks was um, just a big pile of rocks and no aquascaping. And this one you can see, I even went through the trouble of carving a hole through this one just to make it more fun for the fish. Um, and also the current here, you want these things, these are the MP40 silent drives and I was having a big problem with flow since my rock work, it was just blasting into the side of this rock and coral and it wasn't doing anything for the tank. So I noticed right away when my A-cans were closing up and I tried to fix that problem immediately. So you can see here I scratched off some of the coralline algae and I actually moved that pump forward into the open water so nothing was slowing it down. So now it has to crash into the water coming from this MP40 and they actually get great turbulence because they're timed differently and they'll cause more random water movement and that's what you want. You don't want that constant steady stream of water. You want it to like change and be turbulent and sometimes it picks up power, gets all the way down to this side before it crashes into that pump because it turns on and off. So I've noticed just within the last 24 hours from changing the position of that MP40, the corals are so much happier and the fish seem to enjoy the extra current. So you can see these things getting blasted over here. That anemone just split. There's one on one side of the rock, one on the other because he is so much happier that he has some water flow. Plus, I want to say is that this bubble was on the bottom getting no flow. And it was almost completely closed up. And I moved it up top and now it is opened immediately and it seems pretty happy right there. So um also, I wanted to say is these Ghanis, man, I had them in the back and I thought they didn't want to get their butts kicked by the flow or the light, but they actually seem to prefer the light and the water flow because they were all closed up and turning brown and not happy, but right now they seem thrilled to be up there. So, you can see this Chevron Tang over here, man, he is busy, always eating algae, cleaning something. And you got the monster purple tang. Now one of the reasons I always tell everyone I have such good luck with all my tangs and such success with so many tangs in my reef tank, and that's because of my rock work and the water flow. Um, I think when you put your rocks in a pile, it tends to stress out your fish a lot. So, yeah, I've easily added fish without even blinking. These guys, I dropped in that Chevron after being in quarantine for a few weeks. I was so worried someone was going to pick on him, stress him out, and he was going to die. And I'd have to fish him out and put him in a basket. But I dropped him in. No one even seemed to blink. They just kept going about their business. But, all right. So let's head around back and see what it looks like back there. Oh, check it out, yeah, the other clam, I forgot, I moved him up here. That spot looked too good, so I had to set a clam up in there. All right, the only problem with me coming around back is that now the fish um, think I'm gonna feed them and they are going absolutely crazy. So sorry guys, get your hopes up, I'll feed you in a few minutes. Meanwhile, the Chevron don't care, he's doing his thing. He's like, guys, get out of here. <laughs> I 
Now I do have a few Aptasia that I am gonna remove. So this week I'm ordering some Aptasia X and we're gonna test that product out. That is one of the problems with Live Rock. Um, you do tend to get hitchhikers with Live Rock and I'm not a fan of Live Rock anymore. Honestly, you can do so much better with the plaster sculptures. Um, there's, other, there's other products out there, but I'd rather even get dry lock, dry rock and then put it in your tank. But yeah, there's too many hitchhikers on Live Rock. So I say no to that. <laughs> so there's the back of the tank, it's looking good. Everyone, like I said, is waiting for me to feed them. So if I don't go feed them now, they're gonna get angry. They start splashing me. Even the rask comes up. He's like, "All right, I know it's feed time. Let's go, dog." Clownfish, everyone gets along in here. I need some more Antheus, but they're still um, kicking. There's a couple of them in there. I love schooling fish. And then here's the predator tank over here, which I haven't really done much to. It's got a giant red carpet and this clown pair is very interesting. There's a black and white and then the Wyoming white clown. They're happy in there. And then Picasso Trigger. He's doing his thing. Like I said, he needs a friend. I uh, put a mantis shrimp in the other day by accident. Um, I threw this rock in here, right? Just so the anemones would have something to hold on to. And there's a hole in the end of it. Well, out pops this mantis shrimp. And the trigger was like, uh, that's just dinner. That's a snack for me. And he ate that mantis shrimp, crunched it in half. You saw the tail wiggling out of the end. But, yeah, he had fun with it. So, now I know no shrimp can go in this tank with that trigger. He is going to mess them up. Um, also, I want to tell you guys, these are some acro frags that I had in my other tank. Um, and they just, they weren't doing well at all. Problem was the color. These tanks to eat for grow out for certain corals. Um, you know, everything I have in here can do really well with these lights, but they're just not bright enough for acros. So, the acros started losing some color, and I realized right away that I had to pull them out of here. So, chalices, no problem. Fabias, no problem. Um, you know, even the euphilias, no problem whatsoever. Uh, but the acros, man, they didn't like these lights. Not that there was something wrong, it's just that they lose their color, they're just not bright enough. I mean, those are LED strips, man, they're fabulous for anything else, they give it a pop. If you guys could see this, I know I don't have a filter on, but um, those colors are crazy. So, so yeah, sorry guys for the drawing on update, I'm just talking and looking around, servicing everything, getting everything together, it's Monday. So, thanks for watching, as always, happy reefing, and until next time. <laughs>